This viral video of the fracas that followed the appointment of Shanique Davis Spate to the Newark City Council is not what the public should be focused on, says Councilman Darren Sharif. Obsessing on the reaction, he says, ignores Mayor Cory Booker's controversial tie-breaking vote that prompted it. Me as a legislator, as a member of that body, it truly was an out-of-body experience, and I think that that was an impulsive reaction to a serious miscarriage of justice. Sharif and the three other council members who are the plaintiffs in this case will argue that the process was wrong on several levels. Sharif says the appointment wasn't even on the council's formal agenda and should have been subject to public notice requirements. And that council president Anibal Ramos didn't allow for other nominees or any discussion for that matter. Sharif says there's been serious damage done to the city's government. Well, I'm confident that we're going to prevail in court and um, beyond then is how do we move forward. Residents we spoke to today said they're not sure who's right or wrong on the law and frankly they don't care. As far as they're concerned, the people who work in this building need to start focusing their energies on more pressing matters. People need jobs. That's the bottom line. Right. You know, you can't eat, you don't work. Don't work, can't eat. Do you think that that negatively affects the way people see Newark? Oh yeah, especially with him doing it, Booker doing that. Well, anyway, cause it, no, nobody wants from around here no more anyway. He's finishing in this city. Yeah. He's been so he better run for governor, huh? He better run somewhere. Are they disconnected, you think, the city council and the mayor absolutely. with what's happening? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the people are, um, you know, it's really rough out here. People are trying to, those that are trying to do right, and you're getting um, stepped on, and you're not being heard. Six years ago, West Ward Councilman Ron Rice ran for office with Cory Booker on a reform platform. Today, he says, that seems like a very long time ago. I can't give anybody the benefit of the doubt anymore. And that's, I think, what's gone from our relationship. That's what I think is gone from, from our relationship with the city council and other members, because we don't know the kind of deal that has been cut or the kind of deals that have been talked about because we're not part of the conversation. We reached out to the mayor and several council members, including President Anibal Ramos, but were told they were unavailable. Next Wednesday's regular city council meeting will be moved to a 7 p.m. start. The plan, opponents say, is to pack the council chambers again and give the mayor and council an opportunity, as they see it, to undo the damage. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.